Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Build Tours! This time is a special episode because it's the Season 2 wrap-up tour of the Nomad Craft server that I joined a while back but hadn't made any videos on. Um, as you can see here, this is a hollowed out and expanded upon ocean monument. Now this was meant to be a place where Crazy and I would live together, woo woo! Uh, but you know, stuff got in the way and we didn't really get to develop this very much. But I'm here to show you what I did finish. We are in the main hall at the top of the stairs. The storage area is in here, and these are the two separate rooms that don't have any furniture, really, because I didn't have time to put in furniture. Um, you know, just basic light fixtures, chandeliers. Um, the build palette is a mix of warped forest blocks with um, soul lanterns, and I wanted to put in some dark oak with the green from um, the lush caves. And I think it all mixed together really well. So first we'll talk about the main building, which has our farms in here, as well as the different animal pens. Now down the middle here, um, it was meant to be the start of a new um, elevator to a new mine shaft separate from like a starter one um but that never really got dug out because it's only a few days later that the server is going to be down so i needed to do this <laughs> now over here um across this spawn proofing of carpeting that i did which i mixed in the moss in with the green carpet which i think looks very interesting um and here we have our bee terrarium which um you know, it fills the space very nicely, and I think, you know, it matches everything else, and it's pretty good. So, this has been the main room, which wasn't easy to separate. I mean, putting rooms into a pyramid shape is always going to be difficult, but my proudest achievement here is this safety tunnel that is filled with another sort of terrarium space, and the glass here, you can see all of the hostile guardians swimming about. And through here is the nether portal, which a little baby just came out of. And I kind of have this sort of story in my head about it where it was dug up from the bottom of the ocean, and that's why it has lingering stone and gravel upon it. And here are the bubble elevators, you know, soul sand to make you go up and such. And... I want to show the middle of it. Here we go. That's better. And it leads up here into this section. And this is just far away enough to not really trigger the aggro of the mobs. And when I say that this took a very, very long time to do, it did. <laughs> now let's see. Let's take a look at stats here. And here we go. You can see that Guardians had killed me 296 times, which basically my main method of building was grabbing a few blocks in my hand, swimming out into the ocean out of the air pockets, and then just placing as much as I could before they killed me, which worked in the end, um, but it was a process. And there's a stray torch here. There we go. So, this took a while, and it's not completely done, and I'm not 100% happy with it, but I think it is a beautiful end result either way, and I like that I was able to complete the tunnel concept and the proper entryway tower, and it fits all together nicely, even though it's not quite as fully realized as I would have thought it would be, but... I am very looking forward to the plans that I have made for Season 3 of Nomadcraft, and you will be seeing the Season 3 episodes um, fairly shortly, maybe within a month's time. Um, there are big plans, let's just say that. So I'm hoping that all of you are having a great day, and I hope that I made it just a little bit better. Goodbye!